Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. It's awesome that you're here. Thank you. All right, so if you guys think I deserve it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you want to get notifications of all the new stuff, click on the bell icon that uh, is right for you. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below. All of that type of stuff really does help the channel and expand to uh, bring you guys more reviews. In addition to that, um, sharing this video is the most important way that you can support the channel. So let's get into this review. We're gonna be talking about the Agalite K19 plate carrier. And I have to say that this is one of my favorite plate carriers to date. I've checked out a whole bunch of different ones. I've got a playlist right here if you guys are interested. But I've also worn several different plate carriers in the military as well. And by and large, I can tell you that this right here is going to be one of my favorites. Now, full disclosure uh, for you guys, this was sent to me. I first saw the K19 at SHOT Show in January of 2020. I wanted to make sure that I got a sample of it to review and take a look at it. And so naturally I talked to those guys because that's kind of what you do at SHOT Show is you network that way. They sent one out to me to go ahead and review and give my opinions to you guys. And I've really enjoyed it. Now, with that being said, you guys know how I work things. I'm going to talk about the things I really do like about this uh, and be fair to Agalite and show and highlight the things that they've worked really hard into integrating into this plate carry. But at the same time, I'm also going to be fair to you guys and talk about some of the things that could be improved and um, see if they can produce a better product on down the road. That's how I do things. I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent about that, but I wanna be open and transparent to you guys as much as possible. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, this plate carrier is actually pretty remarkable. Um, I've seen other plate carriers have some of the same features that this one has, but I will say that Agalite has done something that has kind of taken it to the next step. And the first thing that we're gonna be talking about is their quick egress system here on the cummerbund and on the shoulder pad. And that's something that I've noticed with Agalite's plate carrier that I haven't seen with anyone else's. If I wrong, sound off in the comment section, let me know. But Agalite's the first to incorporate this quick egress system into the shoulder pads. Now, what is it? Well, this is a uh, attachment point here and on the shoulder pads that allows you to pull on this drawstring and it allows you to quickly detach your cummerbund and shoulder pad to get out of the plate carrier as quickly as possible. Now, if you've worn plate carriers for any period of time, whether it be a couple hours or all day, when it's time to get out of this thing, it is time to shed it quickly. And unfortunately, in certain instances, it may be necessary to get out of it very quickly as well. The shoulder straps are Velcroed into the front uh, panel of the carrier. And once you pull on this drawstring on the shoulder strap, that Velcro is going to shed itself because of the weight between the plates and your ammunition or whatever else that you have attached to your plate carrier. That Velcro will just naturally, because of gravity, that's how it works, it pulls away and you're able to get out of it very, very quickly. That's something that I really, really do like. Other plate carriers, like I said, have this feature with it, but I think Agalite went a step further and integrated it into the shoulder pads, or the shoulder straps rather, to ensure that uh, you have multiple ways to get out of this um, carrier as quickly as possible. That's one of the great things about this. In addition to that, they have uh, some other great features with it. First and foremost is this is going to be uh, built, created, sewn, whatever you want to call it, with 1000D mil-spec nylon, which is going to make it extremely durable, and that's something I really do like. Now, using that uh, thicker nylon or more rigid nylon is going to increase the weight on this player uh, carrier, rather, so it's going to weigh right around two and a half pounds without anything added to it. Uh, a lot of that comes from the plastic pieces and these clips and stuff like that, but 
uh, obviously, obviously the nylon being a little bit more durable, a little bit more thicker is going to add to that weight as well. <clears throat> so one of the things that I probably would suggest to Agalite is maybe pull back on that nylon in some of the areas that's not the high friction areas uh, and maybe that would help the uh, carrier be a little bit lighter, maybe not much, but every little bit does help. In addition to that, it's got molly all over the place. Uh, let's talk about the Cumberband here real quick because like I've talked about, it's got the quick egress system, but it also has molly integrated into it and it has some really nice uh, adjustments right here. This is where you actually size it right here. If I can get this to you guys, I'll get close up pictures naturally of everything, but you are able to size it right here. It's really easy to do that. And in addition to that, they have nylon in or elastic integrated into the cumber band as well. So once you get it set to your body, that elastic is going to uh, expand and contract as you breathe, or maybe you've got it set up just the way you want it and then all of a sudden it gets a little bit cooler you need to throw on a soft shell jacket or a hoodie or something like that that elastic will you know obviously allow that cummerband to stretch a little bit so you don't have to do major adjustments every single time you need to throw on a jacket or whatever the case may be so that's something i really did like as well they've got uh velcro panels on the front and on the rear for you guys to incorporate any type of identification patches or whatever the case may be like i've mentioned they've got these clips right here uh, to allow you to integrate a uh, assault pack or some type of backpack so they've got clips on the bottom and on the sides here to allow you to do that Agalite's already got accessories that can integrate into this uh, plate carrier as well. As mentioned on the Cumberband, you have the ability to uh, use the Molly stuff. I've got a Hub City Outdoors radio pouch right here. This is for the Baofeng. And then you're able to utilize these straps up here to tie down the um, antenna or if you have a hydration system you can route that um, cord the the tube for the water uh, in through that as well to kind of hold it down and keep it out of the way uh, so that's actually a really really great feature as well this fits all 10 by 12 uh, plates which is really really nice i've got the 0.8 inch thick plates in this right now. Those are going to be the ceramic style plates. I've switched from AR500 to the ceramic plates because it does save, oh man, it saves about five plus pounds on the weight. So that's something I really did like. And uh, this will accept any type of plates that is 10 by 12 up to 1.5 inches thick. So your sappy or e-sappy plates will fit in this just fine. I didn't have any problems putting the plates that I have into this. So that was pretty awesome. And uh, it's going to work very, very well for you guys too. On the inside, you can see this is uh, ventilated to allow not only uh, it to capture sweat and kind of wick away that, but also it would be quick drying as well. So once you take this off and set it aside, you can just flip it over on itself, basically flip it inside out and allow it to um, dry a lot quicker. So that's something I really like that they've integrated as well. Got a carry handle on here. That's important, especially if you're going to be using this for uh, military or even contracting, having a carry handle, not only to help transport this carrier, but also if you need to get drug away from something, that's a really quick uh, way to do that as well. So let's talk about some of the things that I think need to be improved on this plate carrier. Realistically, there's only two major things that I can think of when it comes to the K19. Like I said, this is one of my favorite carriers, so it's hard to me for me to kind of nitpick it because it has so many different features that I like about it. But the shoulder pads here are fairly wide. Naturally, they have a lot of padding 
And that's important, especially if you're going to be wearing this for multiple hours throughout the day or even all day long, having that extra padding on your shoulders will make things a lot more comfortable. But I do think that this is just a touch too thick for me. Sometimes putting that buttstock into that, uh, that pocket in my shoulder some, sometimes it, the shoulder strap got in the way, so I kind of had to get it worked in there and then uh, place my shots on target. Sometimes I'm just right on top of it. It's not that big of a deal, especially for quick acquisition of targets and using rifles. But uh, having this just a little bit thinner might help that uh, improve your ability to quickly bring your rifle up from low ready and acquire targets and put your uh, accurate shots on target. In addition to that, uh, I've talked about it with other plate carriers, but a lot of the higher end plate carriers are gonna have clips on the front here and a Velcro panel on the front to allow you to place placards of certain mag pouch setups. Uh, some of the most notable placards that are out there are from like Haley, Haley Strategic, if I could even say it, and um, they don't have the ability for that on the K19. Now, fret not. I've already talked to Agalite about it when I first got it. They asked me what my initial impression was, and that was the very first thing that I brought up. They replied to me and said, hey, we're working on it. We hear you. Other people have brought that up, and we are going to work on improving that. So just keep in mind that there may be a new iteration or a new carrier brought to you guys by Agalite that uh, will incorporate that. But realistically, it boils down to exactly what you need it to do. Naturally, I'm a YouTuber, so I'm testing a whole bunch of different things, um, reviewing different rifles, and uh, it could be AKs or it could be ARs, and that's something that I actually did somewhat appreciate the fact that uh, I didn't have that because I didn't have to worry about going out and finding a placard to make sure that I had something for AKs. I just went out and got some HSGI tacos and uh, have worked those into the Molly system up front. And these have worked out really, really well. The HSGIs, these uh, polymer tacos, uh, they're really durable. And the thing I like about them so much is that they will work obviously for AK mags, but also ARs and anything in between. So I've got 5.56 AKs that I can use this with. I've got the uh, G36C clone from Tommy Built that I'm able to use the HK magazines with this setup as well. Obviously ARs, obviously AKs. So I can use any type of variation in between and uh, I don't have to worry about switching out placards or anything like that. HSGIs, boom, we're done. So those are some really great uh, aspects of it as well. All right, that pretty much covers it for everything I wanted to talk about uh, when it came to this plate carrier. It's, it, I tell you guys, like I said, it is one of my favorite carriers. I've, te I've tested uh, several so far, and some of them are kind of the uh, budget friendly. This one's going to be probably, I would say, a little bit more high end for a lot of people out there. It's gonna come in right around that $260 range, uh, depending on when you see this video and what the market's doing. But by and large, this is going to be um, one of the better carriers out there that I've actually had my hands on. And, and again, that has to do with my experience, not only as a civilian, but also in the military as well. Let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. Would the K19 be the carrier for you. Um, again, I think it's one of the better ones that I've tested and uh, this is going to be my setup for quite some time. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so very much for staying through this video and letting me review the K19. It's been a pleasure. Like I said, it's going to be my carrier setup for quite some time and um, We'll go from there. As always, here comes a high five. Freedom through strength. Take it easy. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.